<laughs> Just for those who are watching this, uh, these are two of my coworkers here, and for months they've been battling it out on which franchise or which character is actually better than the other. And the ultimate, um, you know, versus is Superman versus Batman. So over on the left is Dwayne. He is a huge Superman fan, <laughs> and. And um, on the right, Marin, who is a super uh, Batman fan. So I thought I'd put some questions <laughs> together and um, ask both of them. And then maybe by the end we can settle which is better. Batman. So... <laughs> yeah. What is the best movie in the Batman franchise and why? Okay, the best movie would be the latest one. The Dark Knight, <laughs> and um, it's the best movie because the Joker is the best villain of all time, and it's way better than the Tim Burton <laughs> versions of Batman, which were kind of lame. So <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> all right. The worst one was the George Clooney piece of crap, <laughs> which was Batman and Robin, and. Arnold Schwarzenegger is not good at acting. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. Bane is not even, like, that's not even his character at all. I totally agree with that, yeah. So, I was like, what the crap? I'm just saying. Because he's not dumb. Like, he's supposed to be smart. Yeah, I mean, they had so, him just saying those one word minion type. I mean, yeah, from what I read, like, he's a. Um, yeah, he was like a minion. And I was like, exactly. He's dumb. Anyways. So that was the worst one. And also, George Clooney's Batman, to be honest. No. And Robin is kind of lame, too. All right. All right. So, very good. Very good. So, Dwayne, <laughs> what is the best Superman movie out right now? He's not the best Batman better. We have a year to wait for the new Superman franchise, and then they'll join forces, so that's fine. But as of current, the best Superman movie out right now, I'd have to say, would be Superman 2, with the villains from the Phantom Zone. And that's because it was the first Superman movie that had rivals that can be equivalent to Superman. So, remind everyone who was the villain in Superman 2? In Superman 2, the main villain was General Zod. Okay, yes. And he fine. had his two minions with him as well. One was for muscle and one was for finesse. But basically, um, they were... They were the biggest rivals that he had. In Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, of course, there was Nuclear Man. But Nuclear Man was a joke. It's not really in the real storyline. F that guy. Um, and the worst <laughs> Superman, which... The worst Superman movie, which is going to be a weird piece of history about me, is actually the first time I was introduced to Superman. It was Superman 3 with Richard Pryor. That's uh, the uh, first time I was introduced <laughs> to Superman. My first experience, everything Superman, I was like, oh my god, I want to be like that guy when I grow up. But that Richard Pryor, Superman, <laughs> Richard Pryor, but um, yeah, that was to me and to the majority of the, fr it almost killed the franchise, the worst Superman ever. So, yeah. All right. All right. Good, good. Okay, so next question. Which franchise would you say, between Superman and Batman, has the best adaptation from the comics to movies? And, Dwayne, I'm going to start with you. Which one, Superman or Batman? Um, and tell me why. Okay. I am going to specifically go with my guy, Superman, of course, because, one... There hasn't been that many movies so that they can destroy it. Yes, there's been animation and et cetera, et cetera. But um, with, the, with Superman 1 and Superman 2, they stuck pretty much to the storyline. Uh, Superman 3, no. Superman 4, no. Superman Returns, they're trying to, they were trying to bring back in the movie line with the storyline. But the great thing about DC is they try to use the multiverse so that there's different Superman. So it all just goes into the different multiverses, so it, there's nothing really that I can say about that with the storyline of the comics versus the movies. Now, when it comes to... Wait, I shouldn't even talk about Batman, so I'll let Marin talk about Batman. And no, no, movies. I want to hear it. Oh, you want to hear it? Yeah, no, 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 that's no, yeah. I want to hear Yeah, so why do you think Batman is, is not? It's not good? Well, for one, as she mentioned in her last answer, the Tim Burton movies suck balls, even though they're fun. Look, I love Michael Keaton. To me, Michael Keaton is still the best. Batman, but... Really? 
Michael Keaton is awesome. You do not disbelieve. No, you. I like Michael Keaton. But. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm good. I've never heard Batman speak like this. <laughs> no, Batman doesn't talk like that shit. Anyway, <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, so for the, the 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 original movies don't go anything with the comic books, to my knowledge. Even though I don't pay attention to that <laughs> guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't pay attention to the Batman. Uh, there's lots of Batman fans that I know I'll get more flack from this, but hey, <laughs> that's not my issue. You guys can stay a second tier. We all know why DC had to buy Action Comics to make the number one man in their team. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you may continue now. Merit. Okay. Rebuttal. <laughs> well, first of all, Dwayne is partly correct in that. <laughs> No, no, I'm not letting yeah. you win. I'm, 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 I'm not taking a win. I'm not taking a win. Because when you way. have a debate, you have to, like, acknowledge the other side. That is correct. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Right. Anyway, so, Batman, although the first four movies were a little bit strange, um, most of them have characters that are in the comics. Um, like like the villains and whatever. I would agree with that. So which is good. They don't like just make up characters and put them in Superman, whatever. So um, so that's good. And then but the new movies like with Christian Bale have I think been closer and they've brought in new characters that weren't introduced in the original Batman um, series. Uh, so. It's kind of, I'm kind of like split because I feel like <coughs> Batman is still like um, the better, or like has the better ad adaptation, mm -hmm. just disregarding the other, <laughs> the, the earlier Batman, so with, with the newer ones. So with the Christopher Nolan movies, you're saying that the, these first set, I mean of course with the third yeah. one coming up, they've been really good on adapting right. from comics in comparison with the Superman yeah, sort like, of franchise together, or yeah, and like I mean, it's <coughs> kind of like the same thing with like doing not paying attention to Batman. I don't really pay attention that much to Superman, mm -hmm. so like I don't, I don't really know how I can really <laughs> compare that much. No, 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 but 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 yeah, and I feel like too, like with the rumors about the new Batman and stuff, I feel like um like they're like Bane is going to be in the new one mm -hmm. and stuff like that, so. And I think it's going to be closer to what the to what the comic books actually. Yeah. All right. Okay. So last question. Overall, which is the better series, and which will last longer? Batman. <laughs> Wait. Are there? Okay. The reason why this oh. answer is Superman. One answer. Batman ages. Batman gets injured. Terry McGinnis is not Batman. That's all I have to say to that. I was just saying that Batman is going to hit, let's say Batman's going to hit 45 years old, and that's why he has to have his backup Robins, plural Robins, to come and um, help him out. Okay. But they, but, yes, continue. So, this is the thing though. It's not a matter of who's going to like live the longest or whatever. Who's franchise? Right, but fine. whose franchise who's is going to like last long? Like, yes. what is like the most classic kind of thing, right? Is that mm -hmm. kind of? Well, that's Are my we? interpretation. Yeah. Yes, that is a okay. very, that's so, perfect interpretation. So, I think that Batman will last much, much longer. Here are the reasons. First of all, at Magic Mountain, if you've ever been there, Batman <laughs> has the coolest ride. <laughs> Superman's ride is like this. This is Superman's ride. Wait. <laughs> First of all, Wait. I don't know where okay. you've been. And if you ever been to New Jersey, the Superman ride is the number one ride in New Jersey. So please, Hush. strap off. So, <laughs> Six flags okay. in New Jersey, the baby. characters in Batman are like way cooler. Batman has way cooler the toys. The Joker is the number one villain. I agree with okay, that. Okay, thank you. I agree you just with that. made one of my points. Good job. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> and then, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, 
so yeah, the characters I feel like are way more timeless than Superman's characters. Like I don't even remember Superman's characters' names. Yeah, because like, there are no competition. Cool. Superman just brushes cool. them off his shoulders. There are no competition. No, 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 no. If the jungle wants to go up against Superman, please, you know the answer to that question because it's just like when you ask if Batman wants to fight against Superman. Yes, everyone would use the green kryptonite ring as oh my god, oh my god. What was your answer when I said if they were to battle? <laughs> That Batman's awesome and he would win. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that really what you said when you asked me that? <laughs> Remember the one block away argument that I brought up to you? What, that Superman can fly? Superman can go from a block away. What okay. was the green kryptonite that was going to do? Batman has like way, way cooler toys. Yeah, Superman can fly. Mm, big whoop to do, whatever. Like, Batman can also fly. He just needs a cool It's called gliding. To... It's called gliding. One, two. When he flies in a plane, Hi. it runs out of gasoline after a while. It crashes. Yeah. But when you're Batman, you can get gasoline wherever. Because he actually can, like, fly. Glide. And you know he can only glide with one of his capes, not all of them glide. Yes, but the point is that one of them does. One of them. And you put a stupid little rock next to Superman and he, like, dies, so... <laughs> you put a, co a child coughing next to Batman? You put... <laughs> Let's see, what other diseases can I think of that can kill humans? Whatever. <laughs> okay, so... Thank you guys so much for helping me out with this. Anytime, Rob. <laughs> Movie Geek. <laughs> Movie Geek 81. You guys <laughs> decide who you think has the better argument. Batman. Batman or Superman. Whatever. Batman. <laughs> Batman. Okay.